We begin tonight with our six investigates team. They are looking into apartments being built on a piece of land that has been the center of some controversy. It certainly has. So that would be this land on Saratoga near Weber. So it was once going to be home to the new Carroll High School, but CCISD moved the school to a different location because that site is in a crash zone for Cavanus Field. So now a developer has purchased that land and is planning to build apartments on the site. But why are our apartments being built in what is still a crash zone? Our Seth Kovar reports. Take off and landing, the most likely times that a plane will crash. That's why the Navy has accident potential zones, also known as crash zones, near its three facilities in Corpus Christi. Two houses per acre tops is what the Navy recommends in such a zone near Cabinus Field. But a developer is moving forward there, building an almost 350 unit apartment complex. I know the Navy is a little like, what? <laughs> you know, why would we allow this, right? And it's not a matter of we allowing it. It's the owner has property entitlements, right? It's my right to build this. Well, you may have driven by here and thought, hey, isn't that the land that CCISD originally wanted to build the new Carroll High School on, only to stop that idea when they realized this was a crash zone for nearby Cabin's Field right over there? So why is construction going on here? Well, it turns out there is work that a developer can do even before he gets his permit for that new apartment complex. It's a permit development services director Al Raymond says the city would likely grant because the property is zoned multifamily residential, which allows for apartments. I don't have the right to say, mm, no, I don't, I'm not going to do this uh, simply because I see this going on, right? Uh, because because I'm required to respond because that's what my department does. Several city departments will meet tomorrow to discuss their options. They'll likely consider a residential construction moratorium around Naval Air Station facilities. It would buy the city time to rezone properties and crash zones so that homes and apartments, like the one planned for Saratoga, couldn't be built in them. When you factor in the economic impact NAS Corpus Christi provides, $2.7 billion statewide annually, according to the South Texas Military Task Force, Raymond thinks it's a good idea. If NAS is as important as we say they are, this is how we show it, right? So uh, by protecting them uh, and, and, and helping ensure that what goes up around them is is compatible and, and they agree with it as well. But there is a downside. Rezone properties would likely be less valuable, upsetting property owners. And then there are projects, like the apartment complex, that developers have already spent lots of money on that can no longer be finished. It's going to be very challenging because even though this is one guy we're looking at, other properties will say, well, wait a second, what are you telling me? I can't develop my property to its highest and best use. What the best solution will be isn't clear, but lots of city leaders will begin hashing it out tomorrow. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.